Hi everyone, it's Athena. Welcome back. All right, let's do the collective reading for Tuesday, June 2nd, 2020. June 2nd, 2020 for the collective. What's going on for today? Tuesday, the 2nd of June, 2020. One more shuffle. Okay. Oops. Getting out of that stuck feeling for many. Okay. Oh, I love it. Okay, so the magician knows how to manifest what it is that he needs. He has the Ace of Cups there in the middle with the Ace of Pentacles. He knows that when he manifests or she manifests, the way that the manifestation happens is through through the, their energy of service. I'm, I'm hearing that. It's through service. And this magician knows it, right? He knows how to manifest through the energies of the universe being the elements, right? Air, earth, fire, and water, because they're all here. The magician is the Gemini Virgo, okay? So... You know, the world is waiting for you to be of service, to show your self clearly, and to use the energies that are given to you, given to us all, right? Beautiful. This came out yesterday. We have the Five of Swords. So when this, and he, he looks a little similar, actually. When this magician is manifesting, the universe is saying, do not manifest something that is not going to be utilized for the betterment of humanity, right? Means Meaning, don't be so much in your head about what it is and what it's going to look like. Just start the process. Like, don't manifest for you know, for an egoic reason, right? The swords being your ego. Manifest for and serve for the freedom. So whatever you're manifesting, you're going to be manifesting through the elements of the, through the elements that, that Gaia gives us, but it's not for, it's not for the ego. It's for and to help and strengthen those around so it's going to be a manifestation of not egoic, of egoic type, right? So I'm not manifesting to make money. Got it? I'm manifesting for the good of humanity. I'm not doing it to tear anyone down. I'm doing it so that I, these people that have been torn down can rise above and see what's being given and shown, what's being manifested right? We don't want to manifest for money, even though the money comes. The manifestation will, will allow, if it's done properly, meaning without your ego, right? Manifest without the ego. So don't, don't start a project unless you are willing to drop the ideology of it being you know, something that you need to manifest or create, co-create in this world for just the influence of what it's going to bring to you in your bank account. It has to be looked at from a higher perspective. And that's why the magician is as above, so below. We know that. So the higher perspective is do this for the universe. It, you see this, the star right up above, right? So we also have energy of Aquarius, Virgo, and Gemini at this point, but we also want to make sure that we are manifesting and create co-creating for the right reasons, not for 
egoic reasons of, okay, so like if I create whatever I'm going to create, I want to rise above and help people instead of just, you know, create for the purpose of a paycheck of money being in my bank account. That's not what the universe is asking. So be free in transforming something, doing something that like you're going to change. You're changing yourself. Therefore, the rest falls into place. And what you're changing is how you think of what you co-create in this world. We co-create in this world. And you can see the color depictions are very similar here. We co-create and we start projects, right, with the knowledge that we are going to allow whatever comes to us, you allow it, allow whatever comes after that not to be egoic and out of, well, what's going to, how's it going to benefit me? Because the fool starts, starts a project not thinking. The fool really doesn't have the capacity to know exactly what is it's going to look like. What are you co-creating? Well, the fool doesn't know what he, what he and or she is co-creating. She's flying high in the air and she's just juggling. Well, I can do this and I can do that or I'm given... I'm given direction to do this and that. I have all the elements right here. As you can see, all the elements are a given. So this this new beginning is being co-created in terms of a project, a book. Whatever is being spoken, whatever is being created is happening through through the universal language of not what's in it for me, but what's in it for us. How can this benefit? How can this benefit others who are struggling, who are sad, who are depleted, who are emotionally depleted, right? So this is what the universe is asking for one to create, co-create, to help others, not just the self. That's exactly it. So the wheel turns with exactly everything that you need is here. Whatever you need to create a better world, right? The wheel's turning in your favor for this to happen so that you're not, it's, it's on a grand scale. It is a collective reading. It's on a grand scale. The fool, the fool's flying high. He has he and or she has all the all the beautiful elements of the of Mother Earth, and is able to dream big and fly high. But for the goodness of humanity, not for the self. So that's the lesson. The lesson is to create from now on. We are all here to co-create and serve on a grand scale, on a grand scale. To see the, the people who are suffering and hurting and help them. That's the cup that's being given to you by the divine. This cup is being given to you as a gift to co-create and show the love that you have for the world in whatever in whatever project or aspect of co-creation in the sense of the magician what are you going to and how are you going to help those who have not landed on their feet those who are struggling and praying for help how are you going to be of service to those people how are you, can, can you create something? Can you create something that is going to, to show people, show others who are struggling emotionally how to utilize and transform themselves? Exactly what these two cards show. How can you be of help to, for others, right? 
we know that we're all in this together, right? We've, we've, you know, that's the biggest, the biggest uh, lesson of, of the lockdown is we are to, we are in this as one, right? So whatever now we, as we move forward, we are going to be rethinking and reevaluating our purpose for how we serve humanity, how we are going to create st things and our lives to help those who are in need and those who struggle with their own belief systems and their, you know, how they grew up. There's many who grew up in a world of, I'm stuck, I can't get out of here, I don't feel worthy, I'm not good enough. I mean, we know this, right? We know this is happening. It happens, it happens to each and every one of us. We go through this period where our, we are blindsided by the, the beliefs and what we grew up thinking and how we think. The structure is now changing. The structure is changing. The world is changing. We're now able to manifest things for the goodness and for others to raise them up, to get them out of a self-imposed limiting type of life, lifestyle. And it is love. It's all about love. That's what the universe is saying. Look at this as this is your, we are all brothers and sisters looking at what happens every day. We look to see what's going on. We call our friends, our family members. Why? Because we're all connected. This is a connection of everyone in the universe within the ocean of life, co-creating together with the full moon eclipse in Sagittarius. It is now time to step up and speak the truth of who we are and show who we are to the world in a way that's going to benefit humanity. Here's the cup. Here's the gift. The gift of love for all. For all is here. Being shown for us. Look at Hello. So we take the cup and we hand the cup of love through all the moon phases, the cycles of life, through everything, the universe is saying we are one. We're always one. And look at everyone that is external to you in your world as your own self. Through every death, we a part of us dies. Through every life, a part of us lives. One more. Queen of Swords. There we go. Gemini. With the full moon, the full moon in Gemini, Gemini Virgo is here. Hold on. But the full moon and eclipse is in Sagittarius. Okay. So we have all of the phases of the moon here to let us know that we are one right here. We are one, one love. This is the gift that we all received at the time that we came onto this planet and agreed to be part of this planet and to service, to be of service through love, to show, to show others how we can create a new, um, a new direction of thoughts and beliefs that before bound us and blinded us right? They want, they, meaning the old paradigm, let me just put this down, the old paradigm loves to see this, loves this. This is what the paradigm wants to see. The self-doubt, the worries, the fighting, the killings, right? For money, power, ego. This, these three cards are all ego, in this reading right here. So these three cards are in the middle of these cards. 
So the universe is saying, as above, so below. You can start over and start over in a way, the new paradigm shift is to start over with those who we have lost, those who are emotionally despondent, those who are depressed, those who are drained, those whose energies are being depleted from the old paradigm. The universe is coming in to say, I'm changing this for all to see. And those of you out there who are manifesting a new paradigm and shifted into a new paradigm shift of consciousness, you are all being asked to help serve those who are still in that mindset and that emotional depletion of despondency. So we are being given this beautiful Ace of Cups so that we remember again who we are as one, so that we can take that cup that we have been given and share this cup for all. One for all, one for all, and all for one. The Queen of Swords is here to be part of instrumental part, as well as the Virgo, Sagittarius, right? And the Aquarians. I'm not just saying, I'm saying the elements that I'm, are on the board, okay? But I'm, the, the message is for the collective consciousness. So we are now here to make and profess, right? Professing, professing and showing the light and lighting the way for peace, harmony, and of course for love. So this is the new direction of the paradigm shift. We are all going forward and moving forward in this paradigm of the way that we are going to be in reenacting and enacting history because history has already been made. We're just remembering the history and we're helping to manifest this to, to turn and let Mother Earth ascend as others have been ascending as well. It's a paradigm shift. And that's what we're doing for humanity. Okay. So one for all and all for one. I mean, we are the people. So when we have been seeing the, the destruction, the deaths, the fighting, the anger, the wars, the injustice, right? We are part of the every every person that has sacrificed is is our sacrifice the phases and cycles are turning with the wheel of fortune no longer can the old sustain the paradigm of the old the old will never it'll never be the same so with the full moon eclipse here, I mean, this is going to be the start of this wheel turning and a new phase starting, right? New belief systems. We're owning our own, we're speaking our own language now, right? Queen of Swords. We're speaking a new language of peace to all, you know? Freedom reigns. Peace. Okay. There is a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. I'm going to take one more also. So this phase is obviously the wheel and showing us the phases of the moon and how emotionally these moon phases affect, affect us as a collective because we are one. These phases, the eclipses, everything that happens in the universe happens through us. So it affects us just as much. 
and and we are one as above so below i mean that's what it is the infinity let's take one more we are the miracle that the holy spirit provides giving us the miracle of peace Remember that only love is real. Only love is real. And miracles are occurring naturally. Spirit has your back. So while this wheel turns through the phases of each moon cycle that we have been given and we are to see what we are to see as above, so below, what happens in the higher archelon, archeon, archelons, whatever, <laughs> I didn't say that right. What happens in the higher realms of 11D, the dimensions, as we, as we progress, the other dimensions progress also. You know, what I'm, you know what I meant there, right? I didn't say it right. Okay, so let me take one more because this I wanted to take this one as well. Inner strength. So th the... The element of fire, obviously depicting what happened, what's happened just now, is the positive side of what happens with all the looting and the fires. It brings out, it brings healing and strength, right? Even though, you know, many had to suffer and die for it. It happens, it's part of life. And this is where we gain our peace from. Because after all this chaos comes miracles and peace. Because we'll get stronger as a community, as a, as a consciousness. Move back to wholeness and recognize that you have the power. We do have the power. All right. Have a great day.